make sure na uh, confident siya. So, you know, it's a welcome change, you know. Usually, ako talaga yung pinapartner sa uh, old sa akin or mas experienced sa akin. So, for me, I guess it's time to impart already, you know, what I, not naman necessarily what I can share, but, you know, to give others a chance to, you know, uh, explore and be paired with other people because that's how you learn. So, I welcome that. No matter who I'm paired with, I make sure that I give them the best experience. And in, in return, I get to experience life with them and learn from them as well. How will this movie be different from that? Oh, so different. Amazing. You know, uh, it's, it's a cliche to say, you know, it's a different movie. You'll be able to relate to it. But it's for you to see. I'm just proud that I'm able to do something like this because, you know, uh, I was able to do away with the typical uh, love story, you know, boy meets girl, you know, there's a conflict in the end, or the adultery case. But in this movie, we really delve deep into the heart of a family, you know, the heart of a man, the core of a person. Uh, we have uh, a young a young person here, the, uh, Raiko, we have Yen, uh, who's in her 20s, and me, in, I'm portraying a guy who's in his uh, late 30s. So, Different generations, different uh, social classes, but in a different atmosphere as well. It's supposed to be uh, located in Alaska. We shot in Alaska, but we made Daya. We shot in New Zealand because the time that we were allowed to shoot uh, summer estates. So New Zealand lang may, may snow. So we were given a chance to work with uh, a New Zealand crew. So parang international standards and we were able to showcase a lot of uh, the scenery, the landscape of uh, New Zealand. But what's important in this film is really the relationship of a family. Uh, a guy looking for meaning in life is really jaded. And a girl who's actually not looking for love but eventually finds it. And a son who wants to have a complete family and finds his way out into some, 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 some place wherein he gets to feel wanted and belongs. So, and daming, and daming, and daming And watching uh, yesterday some of the scenes, uh, it's very real. You know, I can say that as much as it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's fiction. But a lot of the scenes were loosely based on real moments, real experiences. And this was shared by my own director who had the idea of coming up with this story because it was a personal experience for him, so it all started with that. So from from there, uh, we are on our tenth draft. That's why adaptation and adaptation because I'm all for the betterment of a of a story. So now we're on our last three days, and as we are progressing, as we are almost done, masakit kita mo yung texture ng pelikula, and I can safely say that you know I'm really proud of this film. I'm really I'm really happy that I began our chance to do something like this, something different. That uh, the reason why I always say that you know I want to be able to provide my audience something they've not seen me do, and this is one of it. Because I want to be able to not just cater to the women but also to different social classes and demographics. So it's part of the film, essentially. <laughs> Add ko lang, kasi from Facebook live, nagtatanong kung ano na daw ang status ng Rigan and Our Stars. Since he told me... It's still, it's still being written in Our Stars. Sinusunod pa rin siya sa stars. <laughs> <laughs> I was finally able to see then last week sa ASAP, and I asked her, you know, both of us are really still interested. We're still interested too. Uh, of course, parang it's a, we've, we've done two weeks worth of uh, story. And it's a nice concept, but it's not up to us if we're still going to do it or not. But as of now, wala pong balita as to when we're going to do it, if we're still going to do it. But uh, yeah, I'd be so much willing to do it with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Follow up lang ha, about the projects. May sasabihin si Bins. Actually, nandun ako sa shoot ng Once in a Lifetime sa 
baryo sa at sa subit. At ang sabi ko, dun sa Sydney Papakisa Airport, super galing na doon. Super, at imagine mo yung uh, madaling araw na yun eh. Tapos super todo bigay pa rin siya sa performance niya. Thank you. Yeah. You know, if I may say something about this film, that's why it's really it's closer to home because it's I'm able to identify with the character, and you know, I had the same I had the same experience with my son. You know, I you know, but for us, you know, it's 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 a whole movie in itself, so it was easier for me to identify with the character. But more than anything, I I was able to understand you know my character really well. That you know, for me, na tuto ako pag ginagawa ko isena. What more pag pinapanood ko? Yesterday, I was just really overwhelmed because even especially the airport scene uh, was my first time to see my son. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was crying, I was bawling. So I hope, you know, with that kind of scene, we're able to uh, uh, showcase that to the audience and for them to be able to relate to it and somehow identify with it. Uh, question ko lang, uh, about dun kay Yen, um, <coughs> Pan, ano yung working relationship niya niyan? Siya kasi uh, kinakabahan sa akin eh. <laughs> so it's just very deeply, just very deeply. Last scene we, uh, last night we had a love scene. So tahimik lang kami pareho, di kami nang sasalita. But uh, when we had to do the scene, she's very professional. You know, one thing I can say about Marian, um, Lillian, uh, she's very professional and she's a go-getter. She, she, she knows what she wants and. You know, when when you see her face, you know uh, the screen loves her. So I, I, I it's safe for me to say that she's cut out for it, and she's still bound to grow. I mean, di ko na masiguro tapo ng punya proyekto with her if I didn't believe in her talent. And so I'm just really excited because uh, she being a newbie in the business, but I'm pa siya pa ng ipigay. And with this film, mama halip pa siya, may intindihan mo magugustuhan mo yung character niya. Um, kasi yung character mo sa movie is babae ano ka. In real life. In real life, diba? Dito na ko. I'm a Christian. Or, I mean, paano ka nakaka-religion sa character mo sa movie? I think that's the art. That's the art of my craft. If you're able to separate that with real life. You know, that's a character. And you don't have to necessarily be a character. If you're able to come up with a certain character that's really opposite from who you are. And that for me is an achievement as a person, as an artist. Tapos ano ah, si Papa Pia, maski sa ano, maski umupo na siya sa hallway, wala siyang arte. Oo naman, dapat naman diba, kasi umupo na siya. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Next, we have a question from Louisa. Hi. Sorry, sorry. Kaya yan, kaya yan. Kaya yan. Okay, a different timeline. The um, question is, who is Piola Pascal if he's not Papa B? Not related to showbiz or anything. What's your other dream? What's your other life? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if there's another timeline, what would it be? Gosh, I'd, I'd still be pursuing this. I'd still be pursuing this. I never saw myself doing anything else. I remember I remember growing up, you know, even when I was working in the States, or even here when I was still studying, I wanted to not necessarily be an artist, but I wanted to be an And I don't know if it was coming from the gut, but I always I always felt that there was something in it for me, you know, to be in the business, you know, being the shy person that I am. I was, uh, I didn't see myself, you know, doing other things. Growing up, I wanted to be a pilot because I wanted to fly. But now looking at the, the pilots who fly the plane, it's so much pressure. So all right now is pressure to the showbiz, but it's like pressure to fly every time. And it's like, I'm not a pilot. I wanted to be a newscaster. I wanted to be an anchor. But I think I'm in a better place, you know, not to compare or anything. So I would not want to be able to trade my life now, you know, for something that, you know, I, I just cannot picture myself doing other things, you know, uh, other than this. I want to be a pastor. I want to be. I want to be able to preach. I want to be able to share my life or my faith. But uh, that's another story, you know. If I'm able to influence and use my influence in this business uh, the way I am doing it now, then I'm fulfilling another dream. But if I'm if I'm to be used for something else, then 
as long as it's God's plan for me, as long as it's His purpose, you know, you know, who am I to refuse? But for now, I just I cannot see myself doing anything else aside from this. I hope you all enjoy and enjoy the occasion to join us in that PH. Dun pa lang sa ilagi, Piolo, minahal na kita. Yay! At alam mo lahat mga event. Unfortunately, lahat mga invite na tataon sa mga pampamilyang lakad namin. So, hindi ako nakaka-attend this time. I'm really taking this chance na, of course, isang beses ko pa lang ito hiningi. Kay Dean Kane and Superman. If I can get a kiss from the Superman now with Papa Piolo, is it okay to get a kiss? Of course. Siyempre, kaya na ako, no? And a hug as well. I'm a very big fan. Thank you, thank you. Kusta maganda ang iyong mukha, magaling ang umarte, at saka kitang-kita talaga ng mabait ka. Salamat. Oo. Salamat na yun. Kami mga vloggers, nararamdaman namin kung talagang sincere yung kabaitan ng mga artist. Salamat naman po. So my question is, lagi ka talagang mahiyain, ano? Yeah, my whole family, matatawa kayo sa family. If I may just share, there was one time in Asaf when my family had to sing with me. They wanted to cry. My 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 siblings wanted to disappear. You know, yung nakapalit ko, nanginginig yung pisingi, yung isa, hindi mahawakan yung mic. Yung nakapalit ko, nakapalit ko, nakapalit ko, may kapal na mukha na mag-artista. I think it's a calling, but I'm blessed to have a shy family. I'm blessed to have a family that's not affected by my celebrity status. And they've kept me grounded because of that. Si Inigo hindi na masaya na yan. Hindi ko alam sa nila ko ba yun? Sa tatlong mga yun eh, wow, yun ang perfect performance. And she, he still gets shy. I see, I see some of my you know characteristics in him. He he panics, he fidgets, but once he performs, wow, ibang klase. So I'm really proud of what he's become, and he's still you know. You know, uh, finding his identity. So I'm just really happy because he's musically inclined. He's, he's in school right now. He, he does a lot of things. So uh, millennials nowadays are really more aggressive, I should say. They're more outspoken, outgoing, and more an extrovert than during our time. You know, you have to really, you know, parang mo na umilong alak para makanda o makaarkida. Pag sinabi mo sa kailan, kanta-kanta. Iyak, iyak. Mahipi natin yung mga kailan na nila. And for the last question, actually the question, this is for my son. He wants to be an artista. Gusto niya nga mag-PBBTin. I don't like, kasi parang nakakatakot, di ba? Parang, anong masasabi mo sa mga bata? Katulad mo na maga ka rin nag-start, what advices and that you can give them? Na parang hindi sila makaluwara. We can only do so much for them, you know, based based uh, on experience. I tried my, I tried so hard uh, to, you know, uh, not have my son, you know, enter showbiz every year, every Father's Day. He would say, "Papa, one year lang, sige na, just let me try at showbiz." I would always tell him, uh, "It's not going to be good for you." I'm not saying it's bad for me, but it's a lot of hard work, and once you step into the business. You're gonna forget about your studies, and I want you to focus first on being uh, young, for he for having a control of your life. Because once you become an artist, you become a public figure. You don't own your life anymore. That's a big trade-off. So my advice for kids is to finish school first. I mean, you know, it's not gonna go away. Being showbiz, and if you're not, if you're really cut out for it, uh, do workshops, do training. Uh, do uh, classes, you know, acting, singing, dancing, whatsoever. Better to be, better to uh, enter the battle equipped than to learn learn the ropes while you're in it because time might pass you by and you're not able to finish school and then one day you'll wake up you regret it, the fact that you rushed into it. So based on experience, I'm able to say that because you know, if I could only turn back the time, you know, I want to be able to do other things. But now, you know, I don't own my time anymore. So for the kids, if it's really what you want, then work on it. You know, I've done countless VTRs during my teens. I'd be shortlisted, so I can have a some project. But I worked hard. I really worked hard for it. So you really gotta identify your passion. If it's acting, if it's singing, if it's dancing, whatsoever, like hosting. 
you know, you have to you have to train hard and you have to pray about it and you really have to work in it. That's the only way you'll find out if you're cut out for it. And get your heart ready because you'll be heartbroken several times. And that's the that's the best way for you to become a better person, to, to build a character. And you know, young people go through that and that makes us who we are and what we become, you know, after a couple of years. Uh, that will make us better equipped and better experienced in life. Thank you. I love you. Too. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Next, Alexa. Um, okay. I just got feedback, and some people are already saying that you're turning before old oh, and the next week. But you know, then I. Okay. But okay. This happened. You said that you know you're at the very most important stage of your life now. Um, aside from Inigo, aside from what you've accomplished at this point, what makes you feel young? I'll always feel young, no matter how old I become. Because you only live your life once, make it count. Feel young. When you feel old, you're going to be limited you know, to doing things. But if you feel young, you feel you can still conquer whatever, then you can. So I always tell my friends, I always tell my mom, I always tell whoever I'm with, dude, you only want that, you only got one life to live, you know, make it count, feel young, because otherwise, when it is strict, I'm limit So even if I'm in my 60s or 70s, I know there will be, there will be things that I'll, I'll not be able to do, but I'll always feel young, even when I'm old. I know that for a fact. Okay, a second question is, Kanina, you gave an advice about people who want to try showbiz. But in in industry where sometimes it's hard to you know to be to have your two feet on the ground, what is the one lesson that you aside from hard work that you want that you keep on reminding the aspirants? Uh, make sure that your heart is ready. Make sure that you are prepared to fall, because once you get up, you're a more experienced person you're a better person and then learn from that experience carry that with you and try again you just always have to try i never broke out on my first my second my third attempt but i never wavered i always thought i always knew that there was something in it for me so i followed my gut and i never stopped being determined and i never stopped working on my craft Thank you. Um, uh, my question is, may, may you make a endorsement? Mo. So, as of now, what are your uh, biggest investments in life? And what are the investments that na, na, uh, you're going to buy now and you can see the fruits? Okay, uh, well, primarily, uh, I'm pensionado. I'm not to brag about that because I started saving when I was 20, 21. So after 20 years, you know, you get your dividends already. So I never stopped getting insurances. So even when Sun Life got me, uh, it was easier for me to uh, get my feet wet already because I knew what to say. I knew because out of experience, that's what I've been doing growing up. So now with Sun Life, I get to enjoy different policies every year and I get to impart it to my family. and get to really know that you know there are other things it's not just getting one insurance it's important for you to get a life insurance a health insurance death insurance whatsoever it's just was you know think about it in the easiest way growing up it's paluwagan right but now it's all about saving up for the rainy days but you don't want to wait until you get old you know to enjoy that you start young so that when you're you know, maturing years you're able to enjoy more without you even thinking about how much you're saving so it's all about practical application. So for me, now, you know, uh, with the help of Sun Life, they're also helping my foundation. It's not just about me anymore. It's about the people that I'm able to empower, that I'm able to impart my experiences, my, 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 my life with. So, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, how do I say? It? It's important to know that you are not going to be hot forever. You're not going to be in your prime forever. So you, the moment you start working, it's a, even when at school, you still have to start saving. Save, save up, save up, you know, a percentage of what you're getting. And then one day you'll wake up, you don't have to work anymore. But okay. yes, it's true working because you're not just working for yourself, but for other people as well. Okay, well aside from financial investments, what are the other um, either physical or spiritual investments that you made in the past few years? 
Um, to make it really personal, I accepted the Lord in my life at 25. I'm turning 40, so it's been 15, 15 years. And I'm not going to say that I'm a good person. I'm nowhere near perfect, but I know that I'm always a work in progress. And all I want to be is to be the person that God wants me to be. You know, I'm in, the, I'm in this business, even if I wanted to quit already several times, but because I know there's a purpose for me being here, I'm not going to deny my calling. I'm not going to uh, try to uh, uh, stay away from a platform where it, I know I can be effective. So the reason why I'm here is also because I know uh, the Lord has a plan for me. So even if sometimes I uh, if I have to do what I have to do because of my commitment, because of my faith, I do it. You know, and I'm, I'm going to die, I'm going to grow old doing what God wants me to do as much as I can with His grace. Physically, uh, fulfillment physically, no, I'm able to do God's things. You know, I never thought I could actually carry myself. You know, I've been into fitness half my life, but now I'm doing rings, I'm doing a lot of pull-ups. My goal is to do uh, uh, muscle up, you pull yourself up from the bar, and then you hold yourself and modify it. You go around, now we're able to go around, back, forward, you know, with the rings, with, with bars. So I still want to be able to uh, challenge myself into doing things that I'm not, I've not been able to do before. So these are the things that excite me going to the gym. Sometimes I wake up excited because I know I'm going to the gym, not because I have to work up, because I know I'm able to do something different, something I've not done before. So I had a friend, he said, when he was when he was turning 40, because he felt that I've always looked good, but when I'm turning 40, why am I, why am I doing this? What am I doing for? What am I doing it for? But for me, you know, turning 40, I guess the Lord prepared uh, for your upcoming birthday, let's say someone will write a book or make a movie about your life. Ano sa tingin mo magiging title na and why? You love me. You know, I like. You know, love me. You know, I have a very unique name. I have to thank my mom for it and my dad. But uh, if you get, uh, I seriously don't have any idea how to, you know, what. A title to stars uh, ABS Publishing and I am working on a on a yes. book. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely this year. This year, supposedly for my birthday, yeah. but uh, we're still finalizing uh, the print. And parang they wanted to focus on health, fitness, career, whatsoever, personal. But it's it's nice to just talk about you know what comes uh, out of your mind or what what what. It's all experience. So for me, there's still so many uh, things I wanna I wanna explore. I wanna do. So hindi ko siya identify. All I know is that I go through a certain phase. You know, every ten years, you know, I I, I go full circle, and every time uh, I realize that I'm entering a new phase, I acknowledge that and I welcome the challenge just by being positive about it, just by welcoming it, and just uh, you know. Uh, Preparing myself for it, so di ko lang title na pelikula siguro or book, but uh, I'd simply say name it Piolo. Okay, down to our last two questions, Raj. Um, Hi, Papa Pete. Uh, this is uh, I'm Raj from Pete1.ph. Ang six na banggit kanina di ba? Is si Ian Santos is ano? Young actress. Meron ka pa bang gusto ng makatrabaho? Dami. Wow, kung ano dami? Dami pa pa dami. Lima. Uh, Jenny is one of them. Uh, we have a lot of concepts in mind. Uh, and she's one of those people I really want to work with. Uh, Liza, of course. Uh, there's Kathleen, there's Nadine, of course, the, the younger ones. I want to work with Maha. Uh, we've not done anything together. And uh, hopefully I get to work with uh, Flau and Julian again. And I have not worked with the Megastar. And hopefully with Miss Nora. So if you uh, think about it, I've not worked with so many of them. So I'm going to go to the Pero, pero mo mag, uh, since New Year, ano ba yung pasabot ng isang Pascual, sa Studio. Star Studio uh, covered me in my private 
my humble abode. You know, one of my most uh, 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 how do you how do you say it? kind of real moments because that's my that's my space. I don't usually show my space for my private life, but. Uh, this is all that I have to offer. This is all that I am. You know, I'm working on a lot of things. I hope there's no pasado that's negative. I know. But uh, I'm working on a movie, of course. Uh, I, I, there's there's one movie that I I want I want to work on. It's a film noir, but I'm not supposed to say it because ni pa namin na may schedule. But I'm also releasing after the album that came out last year, The Greatest Things, uh, which consists of my uh, 21 songs. Of, uh, theme songs I've done for TV and movie. I'm coming up with an all original album produced by Eli uh, We're halfway through, but we just have to give way to uh, the compilation album because you know it's it encapsulates my 20 years in the business. And then hopefully, if I'm able to do a lot of movies this year, you know, there are a lot of uh, concepts I want to work on. And if I permit, hopefully, a 20th year concert. Uh, before the year ends. Thank you. Chart. I'm here for the Magyar Artista. Hello, Mama Pili. During the class kind of seclusion, can you reveal me Derek Eric Mati? Yes, that's my dream. That's also, see, I'm not going to be sorry, sorry. Because the Pintakasi was pitched to me last year, uh, earlier part of last year, so I'm excited because even Dong agreed to be far, part of it. So I've always wanted to do a military type of film. The closest one was on the job. So when Greg Eric Mati uh, pitched the concept, I said yes right away. And it's uh, a bucket list for me, a bucket list check because the whole of my city, Private Ryan, you want to military movies. I want to be able to do something like that here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. <laughs> okay, our last question. It's from Julie. I am a